Welcome back to Northern Tesla. This week, we are doing a deep dive in the Tesla app. One of the greatest features of a Tesla is actually not found in the car. It's in your phone. The capabilities and functionality of the Tesla app improves the owner experience tenfold. Other manufacturers are kind of slowly realizing the potential in an app connected vehicle, but Tesla is already miles ahead and keeps getting better. Recently, I was talking to a coworker who was patiently awaiting the arrival of her brand new Model Y. She's very excited. And when I showed her the app, she was blown away. She had no clue it was capable of doing the things it can do. So let's go ahead and do a deep dive on the Tesla app. This is for brand new owners or people who are just waiting for delivery for their cars. I'll go over what everything does and a few surprises as well. But before we go into it though, take a moment and subscribe. All right, so I have the latest app, which is 4.2.2. So let's go from the top to the bottom. In the top corner, you'll see your very creative and probably witty name that you come up with your car. Uh, below that, you'll see the current state of charge, which is either in uh, percentage or mileage, if that's what you prefer, and the vehicle's current status. As you can see, I'm parked, and uh, if it was driving, you'll see an actual animation of a car driving, and you also see if it's charging, if that's what you're doing. Below that, you'll see quick icons, which are customizable. Currently, I have unlock, defrost, climate, uh, charging, and the trunk. And if you long press on one, you'll see the other options that you can fit in. Now, normally you'll have four uh, icons, but there is a way to get a fifth one. It's kind of hard for me to show you since I already have the fifth, so I can't really do it over again. But what you do is you highlight the one that you want to come in. Uh, drag it all the way to the top right, almost to the edge of the screen, and then use your other finger and swipe left, and then drop up with the one the icon that you're holding. That should get you the fifth icon. Um, so all these icons have little names underneath, and they're available throughout the rest of the app. So I'll cover that as I get through the other sections. Your first menu will be controls. From here, you can open and close both the front and trunk lock the car, as well as open the charge port, which is the little lightning bolt icon. Below, you'll see buttons to flash your headlights, honk the horn, start the car. Now start the car. Now this is a button that will remotely start the car. You may be asking, why do I need to start the car? Well, let's say your car is in the garage. You can give access remotely to someone and they'll have two minutes to get in the car, drive to where they need to go, and then they won't be able to drive again. Or let's say something happens to your phone or your key, you don't have it. Your significant other or someone else with the app can log in and start the car for you. You'll have, again, two minutes to get in the car, drive to where you need to go, and you're saved. So besides that is the vent button, which opens all the windows about two inches, which is great in the summer to let all the heat out. All right, next up is climate. Here you can turn on the climate in the car, and you can set the exact temperature, and again, vent your windows. You can also turn on uh, seat and wheel heaters if your car is equipped with this. If you pull up at the tab at the bottom, uh, you can bring up uh, defrost as well as control cabin overheat protection. What this does is to make sure your interior doesn't get too hot. The no AC will, of course, use just a fan while the on function will use the AC and take up a bit more energy. Below that is your location, uh, basically a map of where your car is. The top right button will share the location to Apple or Google Maps. Uh, the tab below will show you nearby superchargers, and you also can use a satellite view of the map. So next up is Summon. If your car is equipped with full self-driving, this is where you operate the Smart Summon feature. In the top right, you'll have a couple icons. One's a target, which uh, you can give your car a target to drive to, or the other option is Come to Me, which the car will be based uh, come to you based on your cell phone location and drive directly to you. The large button below will initiate the process, and the front and back arrows below that will initiate what is generally called a dump summon, which moves the car directly forward or back, which is handy for pulling out of a garage. All right, below that is schedule, which is a lifesaver. Uh, you can set departure for the cabin and battery to precondition, meaning it's going to heat up. This is uh, important for obviously comfort, and the battery is most efficient at warmer temps, so it's best to warm it up especially if you're plugged in, it's not going to lose a lot of range. You can choose, uh, once you have a temperature set, you can choose either uh, have that uh, time all week or just weekdays. You can also make sure that your car uh, charges at off-peak hours. So you just input the time that your off-peak rates end at, 
and the car will make sure to charge it before then. Also in this menu, you can schedule a car to charge at a specific time. So my on-peak ends at 7 p.m., so I like to charge the car anytime after that. So sometimes I do 7 or 11, anytime after that, you can uh, set your charging time. All right, let's move on to security. Now here, you'll have access, you can turn on sentry mode, and also the little blue button below that, you'll see remote live. This is new, uh, not in all locations, but basically gives you a uh, view of all your cameras uh, you can also activate your horn or lights and you can actually talk to it with this microphone icon which is pretty cool and your voice will be disguised like a serial killer Step away from the car, or I'll kill you. so in security you also have ballet mode uh, and when your ballet is driving your car it'll kind of disable most functions in the car uh, won't have access to the glove box you also have speed limit mode if you hit the three dots you can enter a speed limit so if someone else is driving your car like a teenager they won't be able to go as fast and then you can also manage family members or sorry, drivers. Uh, basically, if you have any family members that can drive your car, you add them here. All right, in the upgrade section, you'll be able to purchase upgrades to your vehicle, such as the rear heated seats for me. Uh, if you don't have premium connectivity, you can do that there. The FSD subscription, if available in your area. Also, there's a quick link to the Tesla store for accessories for your specific vehicle. And you can also manage your current subscriptions. Uh, below that is service, which is like nothing you've ever experienced with another car manufacturer. Like this, if, if this is the reason you go to Tesla, this is it. Um, so if you follow the prompts, you'll be able to describe the problem, send in photos, and then schedule a service visit at either a service center or mobile service could come to your house if, uh, depending on the type of job. So this feature is the best. Below that is roadside. If you ever need roadside assistance, this is how to get it. Anything from a flat tire. Now, keep in mind, Teslas don't come with spare tires. So if you do get a flat, you will need roadside. Or if you run out of charge or anything else happens to your car and you're stuck on the road, uh, go through roadside. All right, the final thing is in the top right corner, back to the top, actually. It's uh, where you'll find your account info. If you had multiple cars, they would all show up here. You can swipe between the two. Uh, there's another link to the Tesla shop. You'll also see an inbox for direct Tesla messages. There's not a lot, just a bunch of like winter stuff once in a while. Uh, a loot box, which has been discontinued, so I'm not too sure if new cars have it. Basically, it was like free supercharger miles uh, once you get referrals. Uh, you can also manage your account, like such things as contact info, uh, set your credit cards that you'll be able to use for supercharging. Uh, when you do your supercharge, all you do is plug in, and as long as you have a credit card on file, you don't have to do anything else. And you also have your order history from stuff that you ordered on the online shop. All right. So that's pretty much covers it up. If uh, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you have any further questions. Uh, thanks again for watching. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on another video. All right. We'll catch you next week. Also below the, uh, also below the, now this button, and it keeps your uh, in cabin at a reasonable temperature. We, basically it'll uh, come, obviously you have that with a,